did a good job then. I think that dude got a glancing shot from your grenade, so he was close to death anyways. Yeah, I think so. Tank isn't gonna shoot me, is it? Uh, there's no one in it, that tank. It's empty. Good. Hint, hint! Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so terrible. Let me on the tank. Maybe try double tapping the tank? Okay, this is going a bit better this time. Yeah, it's a lot harder to hit enemies with mounted guns the closer they get to you. Ah yes, a tool cabinet. The one thing the US military is not prepared <laughs> prepared to deal prepared with. For. Shut up, okay? My words don't I'm come out right because I'm I'm, I'm I'm a I'm a dumb baby, okay? <laughs> I, my I I'm a uh, goo goo gaga. A uh, goo goo gaga. Nope, 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 nope. How are the bees still getting me? Fuck off. They're uh, insects that are specifically designed to um Come on, boys. Come over here. Like, hunt and kill. Why are they not chasing me? Oh my god, how am I meant to do this? Well, Sorry. saving would be a good start. Heck! I can believe I you can... The you have to... Uh, I don't think they had the uh, physics for that back in the 1990s. Driving tanks? What are you, crazy? You think I am made of money? What the hell's that thing? Uh, alien turret, presumably. So what the hell do I do here, then? I mean, that killed one of them. Ow. You can also use the bees yourself, remember? I can. Oh, I've got eight of them. But the ammo refills. Oh, it just doesn't make Five hand is, is infinite ammo, um, but you can only have eight at once. Okay. Yeah, it does take a while to kill anything, but you also don't have to have direct eye contact with the enemy. Yeah, this is why he's tanky. You may have to. Uh, oh no, it got me. You may have to get behind the turret, or like, blow it up or something. They'll figure it out eventually, don't worry. Nope. <laughs> they really like that top corner. Okay, there you go. This angle gets it. I like the hive hand, it's a, it's yeah, very, it's um... a cool weapon. Does it, I think it might also have a secondary fire mode if you right click. Ah, yeah. Secondary fire mode, it fires faster, but with less homing. Come on, guys. He's you right don't really there. need to kill that guy. Let's kill this There's turret. nothing up there. Do you have any missiles left? I don't think so, no. We'll get in there. Right, let's save here. Half left stealth mode. Where you go around like killing things with the pipe end. I don't have any grenades or rockets okay. or anything that's useful for blowing things up left. Well. Let's look at what you are good at. Running blindly into combat. Yes! <laughs> Honestly, I think you do stand a better chance. <clears throat> Why is this dude in the yeah. back not dead yet? There you go, finally dead. 
Do I save with this much health? Uh, I mean, if... ideally you don't want the turret to hit you at all, so... Just right. get good. It was that simple. It was just... It's just that easy. <laughs> it's just that easy. It it's just works. It's just that easy. It just works. Why don't you just get good, scrub? Welcome to the Lambda Core. This is the last chapter, isn't it? Uh, it's like... Close, but it's not the last chapter. It might be... I think it's the last chapter on Earth. Ow. Turtle, why are you trying to squish yourself between glitchy know, I geometry? <laughs> that was funny. Yes, I get it. This is a universe where if you sit down at a dining table wrong, you clip <laughs> you into the table die. and explode. Eat my bees, small fellas. Oh god. I like bee gun. I don't think you were using it that much, Turtle, there's a ladder. Where? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the bright yellow ladder attached to the wall where ladders go? I need more health in this um, game. I don't think you were using it before this, but yeah, you seem to have grown attached. I like it. Fires bees. Where you and the now? hive hand are closer than ever. Where now? Uh, I think there is... Okay. Ah, it was just that door. Don't know who's in here. Well, that's the best way to find out. Oh, it's the stealthy boys. I don't God. like stealthy women. What? That's a quote you can take out of context. Oh my god, go also, away! These aren't really uh, enemies that you want to use the hive hand against. Yeah, I realized that quite early on. Do you have magnum ammo? Nope. No, you spent it all on a head crab. I did. That did not Your go grenade well, throwing it? skills leave much to be desired. Yeah, ideally mm. you want to use something that can kill them uh, in one shot, like a, a shotgun or a crossbow or a magnum. Is the one above me? Ah, oh, there is. Yes, turtle. There's a woman on top of you, so you should use your magnum. Cheeky bitch. <laughs> Why was that so un like needlessly funny? <laughs> Might be worth it just save up we just, killing one of them. We just didn't see the impact of the crossbow, so I just kind of went one peek, and then she was just dead, <laughs> just like falling. The dunk. A... Oh, what is what is my sense of humor degraded to? The dunk. Haha, <laughs> woman's corpse go thunk. I'm saying a lot of sus things too. Uh, this recording, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Seek medical attention. Fuck off! You skit! What does that mean? Have you not heard the word skit before? It means like a... Um, a, a, a not very clean prostitute. <laughs> or like, skit? Or, well, it doesn't specifically it, mean prostitute, but it means like... Whore. But specifically it, one so that's it's not the, clean. It's the equivalent of like a redneck calling you a skank. Basically. Yes, it is. Skit. But it's specifically for women. Oh my god. She... That hit you. Well, you know, I I don't believe in um, uh, gender segregation. I believe we need to reclaim the word skit from, <laughs> from uh, the, the tyranny of the titties. <laughs> We need to reclaim the word skit so we can all be proud skits, regardless of How do I what get we're, in here, where we're putting our skit.
I think you can just ignore her and leave. I don't know where I'm leaving to, though. Where the hell am I going? This door? Uh, nope. I'm dead again. At least it's here? just one of them left. Yes, here. <gasps> oh my god! A woman! Reload! I've seen one of them before. You fucking spastic. I mean, crossbow is one of the strongest oh, weapons in the game. I like how they just pull a starfish pose on the ground when you kill them. <laughs> it's like it's like you're at like an um, a, a rock pool, and you just get to watch all the starfish flopping around. Except they have arms and legs. That's not a very, you know, whatever works. <laughs> Have you been to a rock specific. pool? A rock pool? Do you mean like where there's like starfish and stuff? Yeah, you know those like rough rocks Ca by the sea. Yeah, kind they, of. They like form these little there's, pools. There's, there's a, a few. Bit... There's a few rock pool places in the UK, but they're not very exciting. There's basically like some crabs, and that's it. <laughs> there's some rock pool environments uh, on a beach <clears throat> near me that are like honestly very fun to, yeah, to like rock around, and I have a lot of. I have a lot of fond memories of poking around in them and finding hermit crabs. Oh, Jesus! Uh, jump scare. Yep. Now, it's a good thing he's blind and deaf and didn't notice you. There you go. My god, Turtle, he noticed you with your, with your stench. And now he's gone. It's a magic trick. I'm going to make this guy disappear. <laughs> You turned him into a stain. Okay, that was actually pretty effective grenade throwing. Yeah, it only took you three. It only took me three grenades to kill him. I count that as a win. Yeah! <laughs> that actually works. And I lost very minimal health too. This I, one thing I find really funny about like textures like this is in modern gaming that would just that's just got to be a fake wall. <laughs> like this, the, you, there's a secret behind that, but this is just no, that's just a bad texture. <laughs> I apologize, Mr. Freeman, oh hello. But I couldn't risk opening that door until I was sure you'd scoured the area. This is the last entrance to the Lambda complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. When we realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who should stay behind to let you through. Obviously, I drew the short one. My colleagues are waiting at the tip of the Lambda reactor. Waiting for you, I mean. The reactor is shut down right now, but you can activate it on your way up. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation lab. You're not authorized anymore. But I can see you already know a great deal more than any one of them. Sounds good. Brand. Yeah. So, back into the labs. Or you could take the elevator. Gordon's a bit slow, you know? Yeah. He came into he came in through the entrance, but he started trying to climb on all the crates, <laughs> and I'm not quite sure what, why. Weapons research too. I built the gluon gun, but I just can't bring myself to use it on a living creature. You don't look as if you have any trouble killing things. <laughs> you were you sort of meant to open the uh, the uh, gates and use them on the aliens, but so yeah, the gluon gun is an immensely powerful laser. It seems pretty immensely powerful, but it uses the same ammo as the tau cannon and chews through it pretty fast. Yeah. Damn it, no secrets. How dare you? The secret was the power of friendship. I killed the friendship. <clears throat> Probably don't want to use that for now, right? <laughs> I mean, against strong things, you can use it. But, you know, don't just use it on a head crab. Is there a final boss fight in this game, or is it just kind of like... More You'll just see. like harder levels. You'll see. 
I'm gonna say like I like I'm probably oh sorry. Oh, he took sick, dude. Could you not have just chilled? Um, I'm probably one of the only person. You could have just can chilled still... after I put a bullet in your face. <laughs> one of the only people that can actually be spoiled for the story of Half Life because I, I genuinely don't know it. I kind of know what happens a bit, but I really don't know the context. The only the only context I have currently is speedruns, which speedruns of this game have no context because they skip 90% of the game. Yeah, so you'll have to turn on these um, these parts of the Lambda reactor to enter the main area. Yeah. Spawning a lot of tough enemies. But why am I grenade going left? I'm throwing him straight, you fucking idiot. Well, you're, you're moving. So the grenades adopt your momentum, kind of. But grenades they adopted a little. Adopt my fucking dick. <laughs> so that tunnel takes you to the core. Hello, I have arrived. So you've opened that. You've opened that, but those um, those uh, systems aren't online yet. So now I've got to leave so again and go back. Opening them doesn't do much. You'll need to actually go and turn them online. Let's go. Yeah, grenades in this game adopt your momentum, but they adopted a little too much. Like, if you're moving right, a grenade will be like, right? You want me to go right? Yeah, it's gonna super go hard, right. so far right that it, like, goes around the world and, come and back again. <laughs> right. Maintenance station, Orc I guess. Auxiliary tank reactor access. Maintenance is down here. Freeman, isn't it? You'll need to activate those pumps to flood the reactor. Yep, yeah, not listening. I'll do Sorry, it in mate, a charging. minute. <laughs> I'll do it in a minute, Mom. Jeez, I'll turn on the reactor in a minute. Oh my god. You're so oh, annoying. Can uh, I get through here? There are other doors in the main area. So there was the uh, reactor access and maintenance on this side, and on the other side is the two pumping stations. Yeah. Coolant station A and coolant station B. Nice. Okay, actually having good health right now is very nice. Right. Okay. Making progress. Nope. <laughs> nah, I can still get through that, yeah, right? You're just gonna sneak around. Gonna sneak around the rubble, you know. Make sure it doesn't notice you. We are. Why did you? Why did you? What? 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 I thought I was meant to be down here, right? No. Seemingly not. Oh, you know that turtle melon. He sees a gaping abyss and he dives in. <laughs> okay. That's the way you came here. It's, it's like guiding a child. No, Timmy, that's the way you came. <laughs> ah! That's not the playground. Let's get the shit out of me. Now you know how I feel. Dog jump scare. You can make the jump if you kill the barnacle, I believe. Yeah, easy peasy pudding and pie. Easy. There was Ow, a, the steam. a valve. There was a valve to turn off the steam right next to. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh well. Alright, where now? Um, the controls should be there. I think you actually need to go down in. Uh, uh maybe there's something down here? No, I think you just need to flick the switch actually. That was the switch? I think I'm remembering on the side of the thing. On the side oh of yeah. Yeah, so now that's filling up, and that's um, more coolant going to the reactor. Oh, fuck. 
I'm out of ammo, shit. Sorry, I was remembering wrong from uh, playing Black Mesa, where you have to go into the tanks to do stuff, because they sort of made the section a bit more complicated. Right, then back down here again. So that's, um... That's one. Yeah, that's one. Or oh, you, you started with two, so now you need to do one. Okay, look. A lot of dead scientists. Tasty. Tasty. Excuse me. One bee got through the door. Oh god, that's all the bees. Can you, like, keep the door open for just a minute? This guy didn't die over there? Die! It's quite, it's quite fortunate that the um, bees do like pissing damage. I know. Because they, they never miss. That's kind of their thing. There's another one of you up here? Oh my god. This is gonna be tough. I don't know if I have the health to kill this dude. You know, I'll just use this big boy. Yeah, you know, I thought that I thought that when I pointed out that the game was spawning a lot of tough enemies, you'd think maybe you should I should use my like real strong gun that the game just gave me. But apparently that's a bit beyond your um beyond your uh, abilities. The guts spawned by that thing are bigger than the headcrab itself. What? This thing's more satisfying to use anyways. You really like cutting it close with that tau cannon charge. <laughs> I do. I can't wait for you to blow yourself up with it. What the hell was that noise then? <laughs> I don't know, and you know what? I don't. I don't ask questions about technical glitches in uh, prehistoric games. You know. Eat my bees. Eat my bees is such a like a. It's such a powerful <laughs> insult. Something spawned behind you, but you don't need to deal with that. You can just leave. Just run. Yeah, I don't care about that. It's beyond your pay grade. Let's get out of here. Skadado skadoodle. Oh, I gotta go back to the little uh, maintenance area with all the lab geeks now. Uh, you gotta go back to the main reactor access area that you swam through before. Ah, yeah, I but, see. Uh, yeah. Auxiliary tank reactor access. That's the one. Excuse me. Now I gotta swim down again. Cha yeah. So the reactor should so be more so flooded. I gotta say now this bit in the middle I can swim up, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. The bit in the middle is so that you don't drown. Um, I believe you need to use the valves again, maybe. Okay. Yeah. It'd be really funny if you drowned. <laughs> Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Thanks for the autosave. Uh, yeah, so the reactor sort of does that. You want to be careful not to get hit by that. Oh my god, you can't just spawn me there with this dude looking at me. Gee. That's not, uh, so there are vaults in this area, but the reactor is the main threat which will be zapping you this evening. Can you, like, stop for a minute? There you go. Pleasure to be zapping you this evening. My god. Yeah, this is just a supply closet. What's over this side? I haven't seen um I haven't seen the, the creepy dude in a while. Oh trust me. He's always watching. 
whether or not you see him is irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> I've been seeing himself every, every chapter, but I don't think I've seen him this chapter. Okay, why not? Didn't want to die anyway. Does this thing have a second brief fire? I have no idea. I don't think so, but I wouldn't discount it. Oh god. That killed me yeah, quickly. You were you were standing in the superheat steam. I was trying to turn it off. You turned it on? Oh. I wasn't aware. Turtle, turn it off. Turtle, you're Never. allowed to turn the steam back on. Never. Welcome to the tele teleportation labs. So those are basically portals. You remember that Black Mesa and Portal exist in the same universe? Yeah. Well, they weren't. Well, Aperture wasn't the first to develop portal technology. They were just the ones to perfect it. Interesting. Now, oh, God's sake. I've got to time this right. Yes, you go in orange and come out gr green. Now, in the teleportation column in the middle, there are three ports, and each one takes you to somewhere different. There. Remember that whole talk we had about not using it to kill head crabs? No. You see, they kill me if I don't, if I'm not careful. That is... Don't you see, we need to have, like, uh, instant death laser beams in orbit, because what about, you know, the head crabs? <laughs> He's there. I was just asking about him. And here he is. Bye! Oop. Very... Ah, oh, okay. Oh, for Highly God's deadly. sake! Auto save game, please! You stupid fuck! So, port one will always take you back to that area. You don't need to be here, but there's just that there are some supplies on the other side. I believe you can avoid falling down by going along the. Jesus, that actually. And you decided to go back straight back without where, picking up the supplies. Where were the supplies? I didn't even see any supplies. Oh, just that, I see. Oh, I'm out of ammo again. Goddamn ammo shortage. Maybe you wouldn't be out of ammo if you didn't shoot the floor. It was just two grenades. grenades. That's bullshit. I mean, two <clears> grenades <throat> is better than no grenades, because you're using grenades a lot. I know, but I want, like, a, like SMG ammo, please. Right, now where go? You can take any of the ports. One port will take you up to the next level, where you have three more ports to choose from. Wh which port? And so, where? No, I, I'm, well, I'm, there's only these. Port, this one to choose from, right? I, I go on go this into one. that one. Port one takes you through one portal. Oh, port two is a different portal. I see. Portal. There's three portals in the middle. Okay. I, that okay. one took you up to the next layer, but there wasn't a platform. Uh, there for you to on, land yeah. on. So, uh, if you want, you can just start go going for port 2, or you could try port 3 to see where that takes you. I don't believe any of the ports instantly kill you. This one do be some supplies. Yeah. Very helpful one. Might be worth saving uh, when you jump on the lip of port 2. So port two leads to that one, yeah. And now you have ports four, five, and six to deal with. Okay. <laughs> really, I missed that jump, are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is gonna be tedious little, as hell. A little little hop. Oh my god. 
Maybe this you didn't, so like, just recklessly throw yourself into the portal. You wouldn't, like, land where you didn't expect to. This is another um, retro gaming moment where people thought this was fun. I kind of like this area, but at the same time... It's an interesting concept, but it's, it's kind of bullshit that it keeps taking you all the way back if you start. fuck it up. Well, maybe autosave. Well, not autosave, but just save. And that way you'll be able to just return to this point if you fuck it up. Like that. So port four takes you up to the third level. And port nine kills you, as indicated <laughs> by the red sparks. You said none of the portals it. insta kill you. That was Yeah, but that's lie. not a portal, dipshit, that's obvious death. I made it to the top, I think. What in the fuck is going on here? This is another thing you need to make it through. Another piece of industrial machinery. This one isn't too hard, fortunately. Unless you just sort of stand there like an <laughs> I idiot. I didn't realize there was a wall, wall there. I wasn't. I didn't see the wall. Oh shit! There's push another wall. Fuck. <laughs> oh no, guys! A wall! It jumped out at me. I didn't see it. Button. So you need to push both those buttons. There's another one on the other side. Oh, God. <laughs> it's about to crush me. Yeah, moving geometry is just... Oh, Jesus. You know, oh, give me enemies. Oh, give me, give me, Give me an army of headcrabs. I don't care. But if the walls... Like, if the walls move, you are just dead. Instantly. You are dead. Tell you what, I, I'm I, not very good at this. Wait, take your time, you're starting no. to get reckless. <laughs> Never. Okay. And maybe save after you've done half the job? Again, you're, you're getting reckless. It, like, you'll... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that was meant to achieve, I'll be honest. <sighs> but you, you can also jump on the ring. Remember. Could have just jumped on the ring and run across. But that works too. And it's like, yeah, this is difficult, but this is also one of those things where you make it harder on yourself by not being careful. Oh, wait, so this just teleported me back and that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm out. No, now. you're at the I'm top. Out. Okay, I see. You're at the top, yes. No, nope, you're not getting into supply B301, man. Oh, how do you not die? F die! My god. That's why you piss on her. Fucking head crabs everywhere. You know, you do have a melee weapon that kills head crabs pretty well. No, I don't. Hey. <laughs> Wanna let me through? They're coming. They're coming. Don't rush them. They're very they're, they're doing very important science. So this is the guy. We thought you'd never make it. This is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border world and brought back this way. Uh, before the survey members started being collected themselves. We suspect there is an immense portal in the created by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. You will know it when you see it. A single powerful being. But you must kill it if you can. Yeah, you'd better kill it. Of course, you owe us nothing, Mr. Freeman. But you've come this far. You know as much about these creatures as anyone. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, there won't be much for you to come home to. Yes. So yeah, if you kill these guys, you will get the um, important personnel game, game over, so maybe controls. don't. I know what you're thinking, you, but don't. <laughs> Do hurry. Don't forget to gear up, and I'll cover you while you're waiting for Right-clicking made me pull a lever on top. You just get to fondle it. So, remember the long jump module from the two- <clears throat> I finally got that. Yeah. I, can long I, jump I honestly now. completely forgot that existed. 
yeah, it is quite peculiar that they chose to um to introduce it so it late to the game. Yeah, and then introduce it so late. Hello, Freeman. I'm up here. Practice your long jump if you must, but hurry up. Why am I? I'm just like climbing up this. He's going to start. The, he's going to start the uh, the portal opening process. And it, it's going to take a little bit for the portal to open. So you're given some time to practice. Damn it. When will you stop doing that? When I get up there. All right, I can open the portal yeah. now. The process. <laughs> All right, let's go, Gordon. He's protected by a glass shield. Like, this thing will rend through flesh and bone, but God forbid you put some glass in the way, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Come here. I don't know what that was, but it's dead now. Portal is finally open. That walkway down below will lead you into it. Okay, I see. You just there. have to um get yourself in position. Not yet, Freeman. Is it ready? It looks ready. It's ready. It's ready. You must go now. Well, they did say they talked about explorations into the border world. Welcome to Zen. <laughs> I don't know why, but so many of these like things that are happening are funny to me. Like the way that hound eye <laughs> just sort of looked at you and then just. <laughs> so there's some moving platforms that you'll need to wait till one comes near. I gotta like drop below to this one, I'm guessing. Just drop below to the one that's uh, nearest to you. That you made close. it, I didn't <laughs> think you would, I'll be honest. So, yeah, actually, that earlier segment, if you wait too long, the portal will actually close All and right. uh, you, you get a game over. He's like, uh, Freeman, what are you doing? <laughs> maybe, maybe just try and wait till it come a little closer. I'm not patient, you know this. <laughs> I have no patience for anything. Oh, really? <laughs> that was a little bit too patient. Also, I don't think you long jumped there. I didn't, no. What? That's too high. I think you still need to, like, you need to land on that upper one. Detected. Yeah. You might be able to just drop down now. There we go. You're on the giant meatball or whatever the fuck it is. I'm meant to be going somewhere for this thing? There are spikes uh, on the side that you could drop down onto. Oh, Inside. Okay. You know those, those giant prongs that look kind of like, like flesh bits? Oh, that thing does attack me. Okay, nice. Yeah, this, this is like an alien. Like everything attacks you unless you know, it's specified otherwise. 
You I can control. break those things as well. Those are uh, like purple. This, this gun's so good at killing those doggies. You need to actually hit them if, it, if you want it. And they don't take a lot of damage. They're pretty resilient. How are you gonna... <laughs> nice. <laughs> that worked. I think... Can you kill them? I distinctly remember, like, shooting them with a magnum and killing them. I distinctly... Oh, was that Black Mesa? I don't... Oh, my memories have become too, too cluttered. My brain is full of stupid. Okay, where the hell am I going now? There's, there was an entrance uh, on the side that you just ran past. Ah, the healing pool. Standing in that will regenerate your health. It's, it's basically this uh, dimension's equivalent of the healing fountains. From Black Mesa. Takes a little while, though, doesn't yeah, so, it? Yeah, so the sort of... The, <laughs> the policy with these is sit in them for as long as you can be asked. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get up to 75 health and then I'll go. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. It seems like there's a hole in there, I wanna check it out. Oh, I bet you do. Um... Maybe you should use the melee weapon to break things. It's me jumped in here. Am I meant to be in here? Yes. Okay. I, I I have long loved the way um they approach wildlife in this uh, dimension. There's not a whole lot of it, and I think it, it could have been good for there to be a bit more. But at the same time, it, I the. Just, like, if you look around, you'll see these little black hairs on the ground, right? Yeah. And those zen hairs, they do nothing. And, like, but they're just there. It's adding and they, to the creepy they vibe. Add, they add to the environment so much. And those, like, big fungus around you and those lights that retract when you approach. Like, that light on a, on a, a stem retreats into its little shell yeah. when you get too near. I believe yeah, you're meant really to cool. go into that, but maybe save first, just to be sure. No, oh, yeah, you were. Good. <laughs> go Nox Lair. Are you ready to see Big Mama? Hello. She does not like it when we kill the head crabs, does she? No, she's not a fan. That's a meaty sack you've got there, dear. Yeah, you ideally don't want to get oh. too close to her. Yeah, she she spews um big fat jism. loads, apparently. Also, don't stand under the Zen trees. Explosions. Yes, you are. This is a boss fight. I've not really got the ammo for this. Well, then you'll have to use a crowbar if you run out. Oh, wait. Oh, look at him! Those little baby head crabs. Do you have satchel charges? I oh, do. Uh, I think that's first phase down. Yeah, satchel nice. charges are good against her because you can sort of bait her into walking into them. So she's on the run, but... Why is that ammo also in the here? Other one. <laughs> because people have been coming here and dying. Those are the Zen trees I, I warned you about. They will just fucking stab you if you get too close. That's a strange way to use them. To be fair, I forgot they all exploded in one go. I thought I'd be able to explode them one by one. God, the noise that this thing makes is awful. Awful in a good way or awful in a bad way? Both. It's not very fitting, I've got to say. <laughs> it makes that shriek when um, one of its babies dies. Let's 
Stay away from me, dear. Also, it's not, like, impossible that a creature of that size would have such a high-pitched whale. Like, have you ever seen a, a, a whale? Like, yeah, it whales make like really high-pitched sounds, but, uh, they're humongous. Because, like, the, the size, uh, the, the, the depth of, of, like, sounds that a creature can create depends on, like, the, the size of its, yeah. whatever its equivalent of a vocal tract is. You kidding me? Okay, be careful. You don't want to fall off here, because that will drop you into the void. Be careful. Flashlight. You just fall into a little nugget. Um, there, are, there is a way back up, don't yeah, worry. I see, I see. And there's also a healing pool down here. Can I get some ammo for this game? You have uh, four grenades on the... Uh, the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The, the fast the fast fire one. Yeah. <sighs> right. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. So the um yeah the the amount of the magnitude of a sound that a creature can create depends on the size of its vocal tract. And there's no guarantee that a creature that big would have a big vocal tract. Mm. Because remember, um, not all creatures use the same, like, tract for, like, all their things. Like, some creatures, like, breathe and sense differently, so they wouldn't, like, be no nose boys or so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I set up some of these to kill it. <laughs> It would be difficult, but you can, in theory. Was I meant to fall off that? Yeah, I think so. And now she's above you. And you have to shoot up at her. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm doing I it. I think you're only making things harder for yourself. I don't think those explosions are going to be able to reach her. And she's... She's dropping baby headcrabs on you this whole time. Well done. Nice. Yeah, nice it, was, it, was a, it was a theory I had. Theory was proved to be vastly incorrect. Theory and practice. Too okay, actually, I did it without losing health. Put your wind in. Okay, imagine this section isn't too long. the healing pool, but I missed it. I'm assuming that I'm on 95 health, that's fine. Welcome to Interloper. 